No, um, it's not related uh, to that um, from last year. And, uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm anticipating see, seeing him when that is. I uh, am not going to um, thwart his process by saying I'm expecting him soon and then, or I'm expecting him not soon. I'm just expecting him. We'll see. Today, the only thing that matters, right? The only thing that exists. It's a good question. Um, you guys would happen to know uh, absolutes on the weather, would you? Um, we we didn't either. Uh, the we um, have prepared obviously um, for uh, indoor practice. Um, however, if Mother Nature um, on the low percentage shifts. We might be outside for a portion, um, but uh, we are obviously anticipating um, some uh, some rain um, because of. And henceforth, we had to cancel our uh, stadium practice, which guys were really geeked for. Um, heard there was like thirty thousand tickets, and uh, so we'll 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 take out our somber tonality to mother on Mother Nature. On the fo- on the football in the line of scrimmage today, yeah, I think this team um, is in the midst of uh, on a daily basis developing their own identity, and uh, you know that's it's it's something that y- builds for a long time, um, and uh, you know I think we're eager to get back in there, and uh, uh, it, it's a place that we take pride in to have uh, an advantage. Give give the people what they want, and uh, so uh, it will be fun to get back in there. Six days, that's right. Appropriate, uh, you know. I um, I may be biased, um, but I know, you know. Really, those it's such an honor um, to be to be, uh, you know, really. <sighs> Have it, all your peers recognize um, what type of uh, player you are, and and to have uh, there's a lot of really really good players, so that's a tremendous honor. Um, but I think it's also interesting that it's it's not a surprise. Uh, I think part of what makes uh, there, there's so many things that make Tyreek unique. One of which is stuff that. Probably wasn't talked about. I didn't see it, but it probably wasn't talked about in the in the little segment. Um, we started off today's team meeting um, with talking about uh, how you know how we intend to uh, to be different. And you have Tyreek Hill blocking um, a one on one block on a linebacker. Uh, you know, in, in on a run play in a, in a team run emphasis period. Uh, I, I think. When you have uh, when you have the ability to make plays for your team, um, you know you're, you're you're and in an extreme form like Tyreek does, um, the heavy is the crown with regard to um, if you want your team to be great, you have to do the little things. Tyreek does that and more. Um, he's he's a one of one uh, individual. He uh, ceases to amaze, um, and I th- and I think that. Uh, it's a, it's a really cool honor that has been well earned as he uh, continues to develop his game each and every year and do things that, um, when Tyreek runs a really cool route, you put in a memory bank because you're like, oh, that's, that's probably the last guy I'll see to run that route. You know, um, that's the, that's the type of player he is, and uh, and and I think when play when you're best player or the number one player in the top 100 poll for players um, is team oriented as, as he is uh, your, your team gravitates to that. And that's a good thing for the dolphins. Well, I think, you know, every team is unique to its own. Uh, and that, that's a really special part of what's going on right now. Um, you know, the, you can get lost in the idea of there's no opponent. Um, but, you are creating in in training camp what the each opponent will see. You are creating your your team's identity, and it's unique to a lot of 
varied individuals. And in this era, it's very rare to have over 50% of returning players on your, on your 90 roster um, when, when you're in training camp. So it's a, it's a new team. And your and your eyes are wide open to see what they want to be and how they're going to be it, you know. And you have different people step up um, that that decide that their voice is um, going to be a, a a dictating factor uh, in the direction you're going. So, for instance, we have um, you guys know who the orange jersey is today. You guys know Jalen Ramsey. Okay. He he's he's a he's a player that's decided um, that he wants to dictate the terms. Um, there's uh, you know we there, there's guys that have been on the roster um, that are developing just as I talk about Tyreek developing and like Zach Sealer and um, Javon Holland are are, are making huge um, you know it's just a, they're in a different year the the. The more confidence you get as leaders, um, the more you develop, the more that the the team takes its own identity on with with no uh, it, really last year's last year. This year's a different team, um, and 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 I think every day at practice, one of the reasons we're getting such good work is the players are are determining what they want their team to be like and you know I yesterday it was Jalen Ramsey that was dictating the terms he has the orange jersey today um quite honestly uh with the competitive team that we have I have no idea who's going to be that guy today um but you know as I've learned in the last um four or five practices uh there's a lot of guys that 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 want to be the reason uh, that we that we succeed and and so I'll tell you next week um, you know the the what our what our team has decided to become um, and that that is a daily process that if if you're trying to emphasize finishing um, you have to start and finish each day each week um, and uh, each preseason opponent accordingly. Well, you know, there's a lot of words thrown out there. Um, me, from my perspective, as the head coach, I think it's my job to truly paint the picture on how, what, if you want your team to be known as something, you have to do that something every day. And the residual, like... Don't don't get it twisted. Whether people say positive or negative things about you from the past, those things um, are up to your determination whether or not you're going to prove them right or wrong. So, you know, the the locker room itself taking it upon themselves to decide on their terms what they will be known for. Um, and then st sticking to that, that that is ultimately the number one thing that you want any team, any one of your teams to ever do. Because, you know, there's there, f football is very much like life where you have to, um, to be successful, you have to dictate the terms, and there's no path of least resistance towards that. So I'm really... I, I really like where we're at. Um, we had a really tough practice yesterday, and guys leaned into that. Um, so that's so far so good. But then you get to see today, do guys let off the gas? Right, wrong, or indifferent, success or failure? Um, how's our standard of play? And, uh, and whatever they want to call themselves, if they want to call themselves bullies, if they want to call... As a locker room, be what you want to be, and um, and that is never determined with talk. No, I think he's a uh, like when you're trying to explain the idea of an outlier, right? Maybe Webster's 
in in the definition of outlier, you could have a a picture of Tyreek. I think he reinforces the idea that there are, you, you should never put anything in a box um, and never hold any individual to the the timeline of um, the the norm. I think he he's a, a example on of a, a unique athlete that you know. I don't know what your eyes tell you, but my my eyes tell me that he's thriving, right? Um, and and I think it reminds you that you don't you don't ever pigeonhole people um, in general to uh, any any sort of exact um, science. You let people define themselves, uh, and and he is a person that um, you know. There's there's some scouting departments in the National Football League. Um, at one time, not not necessarily currently, but at one time that didn't draft receivers under five ten. He's under five ten. Um, whatever department would probably dra- draft him. You know, he's ex- so. And I think that goes for all players. It's a it's a lesson of uh, in individuals should be treated as individuals. Understanding um, the there's generally people are uh, slower as they get older. Not all people. Some people just are fast all the time, like Tyreek. Well, you know, regardless, if people are up for debate for the Hall of Fame, um, you you don't just fumble into that. There's no excessive talent that gets you into that conversation. there is a combination of unique talent and a unique person. And those, those players forever um, will be the, the – they'll dictate the terms of the locker room. They have tremendous influence, uh, more, more so than any coach could ever, uh, on, on how to do things at a at – a, very high level, how to take care of your body, how to learn and study the game. The, the fact of the matter is those conversations aren't for the freak athletes. They're for the freak football players. To be a good football player, um, you have to have immense immersion into the game uh, to to play your role with conviction. So the instrumental, um, I would say, uh, to answer your question. Uh that's what you're looking for in those positions because uh, they're inherent in those roles are flexibility. You're part of the blocking core. You're part of the receiving route tree. Um, when I tell you the, the most cha- – offensively, the most challenging position each and every week to learn um, the, the plan of attack is, is in that F position, which is both tight ends – uh, and fullbacks and the versatility of that room uh, turn the page there's the versatility of your offense and and I think that role is is ever expanding based upon um, you know what the defense presents I think the the that room collectively has really attacked the off season uh, from both a run game and a pass game standpoint and uh, and when you do that, y- you make everyone better because you, you add another eligible in the pass game, um, and you add another offensive lineman in the in the run game all at the same time. I think there's opportunity to uh, to get more production um, from that room uh, from a emphasis standpoint. Uh, what I mean by that is. You know the types of plays we're running, the types of things we're asking people to do. You know, you you're always looking at getting better and improving. And I think one one way for our, us offense offensively is really to um, add a, a, an eligible in the pass game that's extremely um, important in in the run game, and that's the tight end position. So that you know you don't just say that. Um, to do that, that takes an off season of 
emphasis um, of uh, working the craft and techniques and, you know, if we're trying to expand um, anybody's role, that they, they themselves have to expand what they're really good at. I think that the room's done a great job of that, and I think uh, it, that, that's exciting for us because there's a lot of attention paid to uh, some other players on the field that uh, anytime there's over attention one way, it leaves uh, a little vulnerability in in the defense in another. You know, uh, to to execute in the in in the game of football, um, I would say it's a it, it's a priority to know the rules. Fortunately, um, we have NFL officials here at practice um, currently. Uh, they're here yesterday. They'll be here today. Um, and we also uh, have a little uh, a cheat code, if, it, if you will. A member of the competition committee resides in an office that shares a wall with me. So very, very um, uh, proactive in knowing exactly what the rules are and, and anything that we do, we're either – adjusting or um, catering to any sort of any sort of rule emphasis um, and uh, we're gonna try to keep it that way I, I think you read as it reads the the emphasis um, is clear clearly stated um, if if you interpret that as exclusively timing motions um, you, you better not simulate the snap counter you better not move forward uh, and and our motions will will uh, will have to be legal for them to work, um, unless we just want to run uh, minus five yard plays. So I think we're we're we're, we're fine um, with that. We'll always cater to to the rules, and um, I, I think it, to simulate the snap is illegal, and we should not do that.